Our year-long Time for Kids Recipe for Healthy series continues this noon. We're kicking off a new part of that series focusing on portion control. And Krista Coles is a clinical dietitian from Meritor, and she joins us now separating fact from fiction when it comes to sizes for children's meals. Good to be with you. Good to see you this year. Yes, noon. good to see you too. What, Thank you. Why are kids' portions so hard to figure out? Well, a lot of it has to do with their activity level, also their age, and then a lot of times too with different builds, you know, how tall are their parents and different things. So it's hard to really talk about child's portion sizes because there's no one there's no one no, answer right and they should be really regulating their own hunger and satiety and stopping when they're full so what guidelines should parents use um there are some general guidelines when the kids are really little like the more one to two i do have an example here this is an adult portion on the left um and then a quarter of that would be for the little guys so mm -hmm. one to two a quarter of the salmon a quarter so of this, the this is the adult size yep and then this is for the little guys. And then as they get more towards preschool, kindergarten age, about a half a cup of each of the foods. Um, and again, it's kind of kids should regulate what they want to eat, how much they want to eat of everything. And, and it, the, the food is important too. Exactly, definitely providing your, your children with healthy food. You, you have salmon how, here. and Right, sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes all, the, all the colorful, colorful foods. Eating family meals is really important too, making sure that kids see their parents eating healthy foods. What, what about the old clean the plate club? Oh, I was going to comment on that. So that's a no-no. There should be no pressuring children. Um, a lot of times that overrides their natural ability to regulate their hunger and satiety. So let children eat how much they want and of what they want on a plate. But what if they just want to eat garbage? Well, you shouldn't provide them with the garbage. So provide them with the healthy foods and the idea is they're going to get used to eating the healthy foods. Sometimes it takes 15 to 20 different times for a child to be exposed to a food in order for them to like it. So, and what, and that might be just seeing the, seeing their parents mm -hmm. eat it too. So let's say they see you eat the broccoli and they're oh my mom and dad are enjoying broccoli. But they don't eat the broccoli. Do they have to finish it? No, so not not necessarily. Food shouldn't, food shouldn't be punishment. Right, exactly, because that can have negative effects in the future. They might never want to have that, mm -hmm. and that's not good for the future. And so. juice and milk portions also. Yes, exactly. You got to portion those out. And the American Academy of Pediatrics says that. That children one to six should only have four ounces of 100% fruit juice a day. Really? Yeah. So keep that in mind. Portion is the is the key. It is. It is. All right. Well, thanks for being with us. Yes. Thank you. thank you so much for having me. And our time for kids coverage continues tonight. We'll bring you stories on how to control your portions as well as the importance of staying hydrated. Those reports are tonight on Lot of Five. Stay with us. We'll be right back with a final check of your forecast.